Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to a brand new series. This series, as you can see on the screen, is all about prepayments and accruals. I just finished a series on management accounting. That course is available on my website. It's all for free, just like all my other courses. So prepayments and accruals. This is the first video of four videos. The first two videos in this course will cover prepayments. The next two will cover accruals. This is advanced accounting. If you don't understand the basics of bookkeeping and double entry, you're not going to understand prepayments and accruals. If you need to know the basics, head over to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. There are free courses no registration required. You can learn everything you need to know about double entry and bookkeeping, then come back and take this advanced accounting series. I think I've mentioned everything apart from one final thing, and that is what is going to be covered in this series apart from prepayments and accruals. Let's go into a bit more detail. I will teach you the double entry of prepayments and accruals. I will show you how it impacts the trial balance. We will look at examples. I will teach you as much as I can in these four brief videos about prepayments and accruals. So let's jump right in and get started. So prepayments explained. What are prepayments? Why do we need to do prepayments? And how do we do prepayments? In this first video, I will cover those first two questions, what prepayments are and why prepayments are needed. In the next video, I'll go into how prepayments are done, how we use prepayments in accounting by showing you lots of examples. Now to answer the questions here, what is a prepayment or what are prepayments and why are prepayments needed? Let's look at a new slide. Let's look at a very brief and simple example. So here we go. Let's say the business, the company, the charity that we are accounting for has a profit and loss statement for March 20 whatever. Could be 2025, 2035, it doesn't matter. It's from March, the month of March. And as you know, because you know the basics of bookkeeping and accounting, a profit and loss statement shows an entity's sales and expenses. Prepayments relate to expenses. So the prepayment impacts the profit and loss statement. It also impacts the balance sheet and you'll see how it does that and how prepayments do that in the next video. So on our profit and loss statement for March 20 whatever, there is an expense for insurance, which is 960. That could be 960 pounds, dollars, yen, euros, it doesn't matter. It's 960. Now the reason why it's 960 is in the month of March, the entity received an invoice or a statement from the insurance provider saying this is the insurance for the next year, 960. That invoice is put in to the accounting software. So it shows on the March profit and loss statement. Because when we look at a profit and loss statement, it is usually shown in a crawls format the accruals method. What does that mean? It means that the sales and expenses are displayed as per invoice date. So even though this insurance covers the next 12 months, because the invoice is dated in March 20 whatever, it will show on the March 20 whatever profit and loss statement. Let's look at this in a different way. Let's say today, 
And for me, today is in the month of June. So in June, I subscribed to a software package for the next two years, or it could be the next 12 months. But I've subscribed, I've paid today for the next 12 months or 24 months. Today is in June. So that expense is going to show in the June profit and loss statement. But the expense actually relates to more than just June. It's a bit unfair to plonk 12 months of insurance or 24 months of software costs into a single month when it actually relates to 12 months or 24 months. This is why a prepayment is needed. It spreads the cost over the period that the expense is actually incurred. If the insurance was paid for monthly, so £80 per month, say on a direct debit, a prepayment wouldn't be needed because that £80 a month would show on the profit and loss statement every month for the next 12 months. As things currently stand, though, we have the whole cost plonked into a single month, which is very unfair on March. And my software in June, I paid for 24 months in advance. It's going to show in June. Poor June. So down here, paid for in the reporting period, but incurred in future periods. Now, this isn't just for monthly profit and loss statements. It could be quarterly profit and loss statements or yearly profit and loss statements. Whenever we are reporting on a period, it's likely some sort of prepayment is needed. Let's move to the next slide and have a look here. So we have our insurance, 960 in the month of March. If we were to, to divide that by 12, the 12 months covered, there'll be 80 per month. So you can see here, March, the expense shows on the P&L because that's the invoice date, but relates to the next 12 months. So a prepayment spreads it across the period that the expense was actually incurred. So a prepayment is something that is prepaid. Something paid in this period or the reporting period, but relates to future periods. It makes the profit and loss statement, if we go back a slide, it makes the profit and loss statement more accurate. If we didn't do prepayments, it would be unfair. It would give an untrue, a false reflection of a reporting period because it would not show the actual expenses incurred in that period. If we were to pay for everything in the month of March, for the next 12 months, we would have huge expenses in March and maybe it would show March as a very unprofitable month but the rest of the year would be highly profitable, perhaps, because no expenses are showing. Prepayments puts an end to that. It makes the accounts more accurate. It reflects what actually happened, the activity of the entity in that period by spreading the cost of expenses to the periods that the expense was actually incurred. Any questions? Let me know below. I know... This is a lot to take in. If you're new to prepayments, this might not make total sense. You might be struggling to follow along, but bear with me. As we move into the examples of doing prepayments, you may have a light bulb moment. Things might click into place. So continue with this course, even if you're struggling to follow along. So the next video may help you to understand. You can also watch this course and follow along on my website. That may help because there's text that you can read. So it can be easier to, to read as well as watch the video. So I suggest you take this on my website. A couple of things I'll mention before we finish. Number one is, you know, how do we actually do a prepayment? I'll cover that in the next video, but they're usually done through a calculation and then a journal entry. And I'll go into more detail about that in the, the next video. Another thing I mentioned 
is what are common prepayments, what expenses are, are quite common to receive some sort of prepayment adjustment, prepayment journal, where insurance is one of them, which I've been through in this example. So insurance, if it's paid for a 12-month period, will likely need a prepayment. If it's paid monthly, then it won't. Subscriptions, once again, if they're paid for in advance, they're prepaid. If you pay once a year for the next year, or you pay once a quarter for the next quarter, that will need a prepayment. So insurance, subscriptions, software is another. Once again, if you're paying for the software monthly, then it's likely a prepayment is not needed. But if you're paying for a longer period up front, if you're prepaying, then it will likely need a prepayment. And then anything else that you pay up front for may need a prepayment. But from my experience as an accountant, that's generally insurance, subscriptions, and software. I have had clients in the past that rent commercial property and pay once a quarter rather than once a month. So because they're prepaying a month up front or they're invoiced every quarter rather than every month, that needs a prepayment. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video.